Hey guys, alright? Um, I've been asked by someone to do, uh, to do a bit of an, an eye and stomach, eye and shirt video. Um, this is just the way I train it. It's a very, very simple way. Uh, like most of the things, it starts easy and it gets complicated. Um, that's just a saying within sort of Kung Fu and martial arts. Um, um, this will take you from not having done any to being quite sort of okay at it. I must admit I'm not mad on the iron shirt training, as you can probably see. You know, uh, you know, you know. I'm, I'm I'm not professing to be any sort of master or anything, but it is something I have also trained. You know, as as long as I can remember, albeit not as much as the iron fist and iron palm and other things. Um, so I'll just give you my take on it for anyone who watches my channel. Anyway, so you start off, obviously you can do your chi gung exercises and you know there's loads of those. Um, a good thing to do uh, because a lot of the iron body is about the breathing and it's about this difference between the diaphragm in like so and the stomach out like so yeah. And there's also different sounds you can make and stuff like that that I'll tell you about. But much like iron bone training, and I don't think I've done an iron bone video, um, you can breathe in and out and you rub the stomach, stretch the diaphragm, and you do that the other way as well. But with this first stage of training, it doesn't so much, it doesn't matter as much. Um, the main thing you're remembering is uh, to form a, a body position that's uh, you know, a transferring of force, so splits or, you know, bow stance or whatever you want to do. Um, and, and all you're going to do is you're going to, on strike, you're just going to breathe out like so. And all we do is we get like a piece of wood or something like that, or a wooden mallet or a brick or something, and you just, it's as simple as that, you just strike the muscle surfaces. Um, well, this will be a mixture of iron shirt and iron bone because we'll be striking bone targets as well. But anyway, a brief example. This is the you know the lowest phase. You just and then in the tightness that you have there, you kind of breathe into it as well. Yeah. And then literally at the first stage, it just simply that. Yeah. And it's just like the iron bone training. You know, this is good because this first stage, you can, you, you know, you don't have to put too much focus into it because what you're doing is you're you're just starting to develop the skill. Yeah. Yeah. And you're hitting. Yeah. Yeah. And this is if you make like a mmm sound. Mm, you close down the ribs, yeah, <clears throat> like that. Yeah, you like contract the muscles. So that's the sound you can make when you're striking the side. Um, but once again, we're doing the iron bone. So you breathe into those ribs, and why we're raising them like this is just to sort of open them out a bit, uh, so that we can train them. Yeah. And you just strike. Yeah. Muscle area. And like with the conditioning, or like the way I like doing it, is that, you know, you can start off, you start off light, you know, you do hundreds of strikes. And uh, you let the energy build up in your body. Yeah. And my wife laughs.
coughing up today. For being silly again. Yeah. Now this is very silly, and I know it's silly, but... It's just very basic level body hardening. You could do this for, for boxing, you could do this... So there's the... There's the sternum strikes. And you can rub a bit. Yeah, here. You can hear the whatever that is bone rib cage there, and you, you know, you extend the the chest and the lungs. It's just about strikes. It's just like all the other iron bone iron body training. Obviously, there is an internal aspect to it. But to begin with, it's it's an exterior training method. Yeah. And this way is well for me I find it, you know, I get reddening on the surface. But you know, that doesn't harm me, you know. So anyway. So just yeah, just stand still and do it, yeah? Just like iron bone training. You just lots of strikes on the area. You can breathe out to contract the area and then for sort of more internal protection you breathe out to contract the area, breathe out and it contracts and then you keep that not muscle well it is muscle contraction but you keep it there and then you breathe with your sternum into uh, the this, this sort of, it's weird, I don't know, the only way I can describe it is like it's always described is you breathe out till you feel like a tightness here then you maintain that tightness and breathe into that space and it is like having a ball there because you'll feel it sort of push your hips back square your hips off and that's part of that lower dantian so it's that ball that you can then use to withstand uh, heavier objects than, than like a, a warden pin. So the pin will build the surface, yeah? and also a bit of the inside, and it'll start to get your breathing right. Yeah, and, and obviously if you, if you breathe normally whilst you're doing it, you know, obviously you can contract your breath, but if you keep a controlled normal breath whilst you're training it, then oh, hit my head Then, uh, then you've got sort of all the time iron shirt. You know, just you know, it's, it's there. It's intrinsically hammered into your body. Yeah. Yeah. There's on the ribs. There's on the other rib. And yes, I'm sorry, it is crazy, but it's, it's just an old style of training. Um, and like all the old styles of trainings, the ones I love, there's no secret to them. There, there's a bit of uh, knowledge base you build up from training them a lot, but there's no great secret. The secret is just the training. <laughs> So
So, obviously, you then rub the area. And you do some of your low Qi Gong. Now, also, uh, you know, Qi Gong and stuff like that, it's, it's in the legs. The power base, the low center of gravity, the, the Dang Tian. So, you know, there are many postures up here, but you really need to do the low postures. Uh, you know, there's just something about the lowness and the alignment that just makes channeling the forces, makes taking these strikes, makes everything a lot easier. So anyway, that's the stage one. And train that as much as you want. The good thing is, just like with iron bone, I uh, don't know if I've done an iron bone, uh, an iron bone video, I don't think I have, but iron bone is where you strike the actual bones. Yeah? Yeah. And you just you just tap them gently and you just do that and then you change these. That's what I'm doing here because it's hitting the, the rib cage, uh, the bones on the rib cage to make them stronger. And you're also breathing to reinforce the rib cage, yeah? Here's on the stomach is soft. You're using some breath to reinforce that, breathing out, then in, and then holding the position, but not holding your breath. You're breathing in and out, in and out, in and out, but you're maintaining like a, an amount of breath in your stomach that, that kind of seems to protect, you know, the, the force from going fully inside you. Um, so like you see, um, you can probably see on me, there's reddening, surface reddening, but that would happen if you got people to come and slap you, you know, and, you know, you just get surface reddening. Plus, like I said, I'm no, you know, as you can probably see from my video, I'm no master or anything near that. I'm just a general practitioner of this technique. Um, okay, next. Um, where are we at now? Yes, okay, now here we go, guys. This is the iron pole that I've probably, don't know if I've sh showed you guys. You can hear it ringing. It's a scaffolding pole, weighs probably about, I don't know, five, more than five kilos, coming up ten kilos maybe. This is, this is your next area of training. So, now, um, be careful with this. You can also use the body beaters and brushes, but the same thing, um, like I was saying, there's the, there's the outside and the medium inside that the wood develops, then there's the more inside that something like this develops, more concentration, more correct breath.
Okay guys, so what I wanted to show there, and this is the real deal. You know, what I wanted to show there is that training with something like this really does gradually and slowly lead to strikes with something like this. Um, even if you're not like the biggest master in the world or whatever. Um, it's just a gradual slow process and then obviously after you've been striking with this the next day or two days later you go back to this and you're like oh this is easy because you've trained the outside and with this you've trained the inside okay this is a bit extreme and it's recommended that you train the wooden mallet uh, for a long time as well you'll figure out how long you can read up about it um, Obviously that just proves that, uh, you know, like I say, I don't consider myself, you know, anything of, of worth or note with regards to iron shirt technique, but um, I have trained it um, for, yeah, as long as I've been training martial art, I've also been training iron shirt, you know, doing it for a bit, then not doing it for a while doing it for a bit, then not doing it, you know, getting it wrong, you know, laying off for a bit. So what I want to say is I don't train it as much as my own hand and stuff, but as a part of your conditioning routine, it's again something I've always used. And hopefully, you know, those strikes I've done demonstrate that because, you know, I'm striking with this, this weight on my, on my rib cage and you're resisting it. Now, the sounds I'm making, yeah, the closes down the ribs, yeah, and the hate is just a hate, it's just a, a way of closing down the front, yeah, so those are all sounds that you kind of develop, yeah, now also with the heavier objects, this moving in um, is, is a technique used to, to, well, it's meant to help to dissipate some of the force, so, you know, you can train standing there, hitting, that's fine, but um, for more practical use, you know, you wouldn't be trying to just stand there. When the force is coming in, you'll be moving towards it to try and generate a bit of your own force and bounce it away from you. And you'll see quite a lot of iron body practitioners doing this technique, yeah? In fact, it looks very powerful. Um, but it's actually, it makes the strike easier to bear than just standing there and letting it hit you, yeah? So that's why you'll whoo, see that move in, yeah? Um, so obviously, you know, there it is. Um, that's it. Once again, if I step forward towards the camera, I'm sorry, this is a bit crazy. It's just reddening, reddening, surface reddening, you know? Because I don't practice this as regularly as I should, I might have a bit of, you know, pain on the rib, not pain on the ribs, a bit of sore rib tomorrow or something like that. But the fact is, you know, you know, I'm not damaged. I'm just trained. There's nothing wrong with training as long as you're not damaged. My internal organs are fine. I've protected them you know, through training and breathing. No force is transmitted into me that could have harmed me on the inside. My ribs are fine, they're strong, they're undamaged. Um, that's what you want with this kind of training. Please be careful, anyone who's gonna start hitting themselves with iron bars and stuff. But, you know, you can, from day one, uh, you could get an iron bar and the same thing, you could just tap yourself like this with it. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I like to use it. I like to use it, um, like I said, in conjunction with this, where I start the beating on the surface, build up a bit of concentration, and then I'll get this whoo, to train the inside. Bah! Hat! 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 Hat!
kind of square in the sternum. <coughs> yeah, and you, for eye and bone you do the same thing just on your legs and stuff, but don't hit it near as hard for eye and bone. Um, bone surfaces you want to sort of strike gently. Muscle surfaces you can belt quite hard. Yeah. Anyway guys, that was for my subscribers and stuff, anyone interested. Please, if you don't like what I do, don't do it. Don't listen to me. Um, but I'm just trying to show you what, you know, hopefully something honest that doesn't, you know, that will build you. You know, honestly, I'm a bit red, but, you know, I, that's it, I'm fine. You know, anyway, enjoy the training, people.